my goodness! Holy sh! I might by the end of the day. Pretty solid. <laughs> Short bed even. Got a little rain here last night, apparently. People out there lined up waiting to get in. One for each hand. That one's pretty cool, ain't they? Got here. Nice mini build. <laughs> I wanted one of them so bad when I was a kid. that is oh late 50s early 60s t-bird $800? What a deal! Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> I want this. 
I have an idea for one of these. Maybe a bit uh, sparse for what I want to do. Some place in one of these tolls there's a blower call. Yeah, I think it's true. The east west is the main entrance. Off the midway, over from the each end of the east and west east places, there are rock keyboards and sand that now are entered with the middle of the bus. Uh, opal, okay, that's what I was thinking it was. Looks like they only got two. Five on four and three quarter, looks like. These are pretty cool. I guess they're 20s or 22s. Look like old rally wheels. Up there, yeah, 20s. Sell anything apparently. Looks like Goldwing engine. Sort of IRS setup. Got old Mayor McCheese head here. And the Ronald. That is cool as shit. Even though it's a Yamaha, I'm really digging it. What do we have here? I don't even know where to start looking. The more damned intake manifolds you can take a stick at, as the saying goes. Yeah, I don't think it is. He wants people to know he's coming. Back window. We need you to move that van down to the parking lot, please. Appreciate it. Not a Dodge guy, but uh, that's pretty sharp. Tell me it's a Graham Brothers truck, which I'd never even heard of before. Other than the sheep model up there, that's Ford, but engine was supplied by Dodge. But yeah, never never heard of it. Chewed up, not bad. Twenty 
six by twelve. not car related but it's kind of cool I don't know if it's actually vintage or not but Ooh, grip spurs. Excellent tread on them. Yeah, gateways, but they're the same as a grip spur. 16, huh? old vintage dirt bikes. Almost fell. That this thing absolutely scoots. Oh, do we got here? Twenties, five on four and a half. Chewed up.
Shabby. I'm not a score body guy, but this is pretty damn sharp. Very nice. Short bed, spotless white paint. It's like maybe six inch lift. Crunch. Some sort of BMW, I think, maybe? Yeah. Then you got this. And it's so Nice lines on this car. I don't know what the hell this thing is. British Leaven, okay. Oh, Triumph, there we go. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. 
just one, but two. Nice, very nice. If I'm not mistaken, I think I showed these last year as well. How did I miss this little gem? Take a look anyway. There we go, that's better. Soak it all in. Oh shit, I'm in trouble, she found me. Well, at least it's not the typical small blocker LS. <laughs> well, this wasn't here when I came in. Is it for real? I don't believe so, it's just for looks. <laughs> yeah, pretty obviously fake, but still looks cool, I guess. <laughs> I've seen worse trends in the automotive hobbyist world. <laughs> Wait. Not lemonade though. What a beauty. And the car too. Three fifty one and a four speed. Bet that's pretty fun. You didn't tell me there was one of these here. It's a cyclone even from Tasca Ford. You guys that know your Ford history know what that's all about. Obviously, we're in the car corral now. Ooh, didn't see that one. Fifty-four thousand says the sticker in the window. 
That thing is clean. Six liter. Oh, that's too bad. Twenty thousand. Interesting. Not sure it's my thing, but uh, I'm not going to condemn it. Wow. Really knocked it out of the park for the interior, though. I don't know if that's the same Jeep that was here last year, but with a top on it now. But man, there was a red beat up Jeep just like that parked in almost the same spot. Look at that clean old Bronco. Take a look at the flat fender. Sixteen hundred with title. Runs and drives, 8,500. Seven Fairlane. I can't get around here without stepping in this mud. Let's see. Is there anything in there? I can't tell. I can't tell. There we go. This is pretty rough. The center runs not drivable, need brakes. Uh, 4,500. <clears throat> Sold. A lot of selling going on here today. You need that wing for your Mustang. <laughs> Little uh, homebrew Mustang 2 set up here. Yeah, I think it's just wired in place. Not me, someone else. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what's going on here. 
some sort of a kit car, perhaps. Hmm. Curious, yes. Hmm. See if I can get a good shot of this one stomping all over some stuff. It's a Ford fucking Ranger. Short bed. Looks pretty clean. Hmm. I do believe I looked at this last year. In the same, pretty much the same place. Got a sweet, sweet, sweet ass model A here and a Hemi of some sort. God damn, that thing's clean. In the wet parking lot. Park in the middle of the road that goes to the parking hmm. space. Hmm. Yeah, I'm finding all sorts of wheels I like here today, but I don't really need any of them. So, it is the day after the swap meet for me, even though the swap meet is still going on today. Uh, it was just me and the girlfriend yesterday, Aaron. Uh, his wife and his kid, they are going to the swap meet today. We might meet up with them later today if possible and do a report on what he got, what I got, and we are doing the contest. But, seeing as how we're in Springfield, Missouri, I had to go check out Bucky's. I've been hearing so much about this gas station. This now, to my understanding, this is the smallest one in the U.S., but this thing is still massive. Look, this uh, fuel pump canopy, that, I don't know, in my estimation, that thing has to be easily a half a mile long. And the Pumps are stacked too deep. I'm not going to count them, but uh, yeah, the woman, she's inside shopping, so I'm going to go inside and see if I can find her. But yeah, this place is seriously impressive for size, even considering it is the smallest one, from what I'm told. After this, we're gonna run around town, taking the woman to go shopping at thrift stores. Maybe if I come across some pawn shops or gun stores, I'll stop and take a look there. And then uh, I might even stop back out at the swap meet, grab a couple things that I forgot about yesterday. But yeah, we'll check in with you later. I found her in the clothes. Probably never seen something like that before. <laughs> All right, folks, I am back home. It is Sunday morning. The swap meet is still going on today, but typically on a Sunday, a swap meet is a total ghost town. Um, I went Friday, and then I went back Saturday before we left town. Um, Friday, wow, it was hot, hardly any breeze. Miserable, miserable day out there. Saturday, also hot. Obviously, I wasn't there very long, but there was a lot better of a breeze. The only reason I stopped by Saturday is because it was on our way out of town. Uh, I just stopped by, saw if there was a few things that were, that were still left that I had my eye on, and make a really low ball offer on. Anyway, let me show you what I got. Pretty good haul here, I must say. I spent uh, quite a bit of money, in you know, my own opinion. Start out here. I got this hitch, twenty bucks. 
Trailer lights. Uh, I think I paid 20 for them. Always need some of these around. They're always getting busted. These were a total impulse buy. I, I'm not really into knives or swords, but I thought these just looked cool. I paid 30 for the pair, and I regret it already. I don't know why. It was just, like I said, a total impulse buy. Maybe someday when I get the time, I'll sandblast these, get them all cleaned up, and like wrap the handles with paracord, make them look cool. Uh, I could say that, you know, I'll keep them on hand in case the zombie apocalypse. But man, these things, there's some weight there. It could be tiring swinging them around. Moving on. This is a set of used, but they're really nice. Little bit of spots of rust here and there. They'll be just fine, though. Uh, Ford Dana 44 front axle gears, high pinion and 409 gearing. I got them for 50. I don't have a need for them, but these are the kind of things you find them at that price. It's nice to have them around for when you do need them. And actually on the trip home, me and the girlfriend were talking about various projects and vehicles and whatnot, and we might have come up with an idea for these. So yeah, it was a good buy if we do end up. A Spartan locker for a Dana 44. Um, brand new still in the box, 150 I paid for that. Uh, phenolic spacer, five bucks. This is also a phenolic spacer, but it also adapts from a four barrel to a two. It does have the threads missing in one of these holes. I believe I paid five bucks for that also. Got these foam pads. I think I've mentioned that before. Like in this wheel and buggy here, if you run these hard plastic seats, you need to run those types of pad between the seat cover and the seat. Otherwise, these things will just eat you up on a day of wheeling. These ones are getting kind of broken down, so I decided to get these. They were 20 bucks a piece, so yeah, I just grabbed a pair of them. All right, these are five on five and a half, 20 inch wheels. Five on five and a half is Ford, older Ford half-ton stuff, uh, Scouts, Jeeps, and newer Dodges. I don't know how much newer. Newer is a subjective thing. I pay, I got a couple ideas for these. I got them for 120, so I went ahead and grabbed them. Don't know that I will use them for those ideas, but I've got them. And winches, 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 winches. I think I got all the winches this weekend. This is a hydraulic mile marker. It came off of a military Humvee. It was there last year. If I remember right, I was thinking the guy was wanting 300 for it. He was wanting 100 this time. I got it for 75. I find the idea of a hydraulic winch fascinating. I've used one in the past. It was a mile marker, the one that hooks in your power steering pump. It was a long time ago. Uh, I don't know that I'll ever do anything with it. I just, I just couldn't walk away from it. Let's see here. These are both Warns. This one, let me see, make sure. Yeah, this one is a 10,000 worn. I paid 85 for it. The guy swears it just needs a new solenoid in there. I've got some solenoids left over from the last winch project I did last winter. And then when I went to go load this one up, his neighbor said they had a winch in the trailer. Well, let's take a look. And it's also, I don't know what size this one is because the tag has faded away. It's kind of similar in size to this one, but it's not exactly the same. You can tell by the housing here, by the way it's shaped. The end housing where the, um, the planetary gears are. It's not the same, but general size-wise, I do believe this is probably 10, maybe a 12. Paid uh, 60 bucks for that one. So yeah, three big old winches and yeah, I think what, a, maybe a little over 200 for all three of them. I'd have to do the math in my head and I suck at doing that. So I guess we're not doing the contest. Uh, Aaron and his family, they got there Saturday and the family wasn't having it out there in that heat. So they kind of bailed on the swap meet early. Aaron did go back later in the day. He got, to my knowledge, he got a Dana 60 carrier with a Spartan locker in it and a set of 456 gears, low pinion, so Chevy or Dodge. He got all that for 200 to my knowledge. I don't think he got anything else. And then we talked on the phone and seeing as how he didn't get anything for the contest, I decided not get out of here, you damn fly. We decided to just go ahead and call off the contest. Cindy was with me. She didn't get anything. Aaron's family bailed on the swap meet altogether. So yeah, nobody really got anything. I had my eye on something. 
But once I found out nobody else got anything, I didn't get it. I'll tell you what I was looking at, though. It was a Darth Vader. Um, why am I having a brain fart here? It was a Darth Vader, um, not a vase, but a, a flower pot. Darth Vader flower pot. <laughs> So uh, before we wrap this up, I need to get all this stuff put away. Yesterday was my daughter's birthday, but we're taking her out for dinner tonight. I need to get all this stuff put away, but let's find out if these two electric winches work. There's not much I can do with the hydraulic in an easy way to see if it works. But uh, we'll get all this other crap out of the way, hook some batteries up to those motors and see if those winches will even turn. All right, so in wrestling these around to get them to where they're more uh, accessible, I've noticed the foot is broken off of this one. This one was the last one I bought. When I went to go load this one up, his uh, neighbor next door was telling me they had a winch on the trailer because they saw this one was on the golf cart as well for the hauling service. So I said, let's see what you got. And there was this one. I assumed it was a 12 just like this because it looked similar. I have my doubts now, but I was in a rush. The guy doing the hauling was waiting. They were wanting 100, I offered 50, we settled on 60. We got it thrown on the golf cart and away I went. But yeah, I did not notice that. Uh, there is a, some sort of a number here. Maybe this isn't a 12,000, maybe it's a 9,000 based on this KP9. I don't know, it's definitely a worn. But yeah, I couldn't tell you exactly what size it is. But anyway, let's find out anyway if these things are gonna spin. I think she shorted out internally. Try the other way. Yeah, she's drawing curve, but there's nothing happening. Okay, well, we're just gonna assume this one needs a motor. Now I know I've covered this before with swap meet winches that I've bought. What you do to test the motor, you ground your jumper cables to the motor somehow. I typically try to use the ground post that it is right in there. I grounded it with the cable that was already attached. And then you connect your positive to one of these two. Doesn't matter which. And then you short the other one out to this post over here. That'll get you one direction. Then you reverse it to do the opposite. You move your positive to over here and short these two out. As it, you, well, I'm assuming it showed on the camera, maybe not, but it was throwing sparks. So yeah, it was drawing current, but just nothing was happening. The motor was not even so much as grunting or clicking or doing anything. So let's get to this one. All right, cleaned up the bolt real good, put it back in. This should be the uh, final test. Well, there you have it, folks. Looks like I didn't come out so good on these winch purchases, but for what I paid for them, I really didn't get hurt. Anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time. Watch out for your cornhole, bud. <laughs>